Hello and welcome to day four of seven days of Halloween. Hi everyone, it's Monica from Taylor Made Cards for You and welcome back to day four of my seven days of Halloween series. Today's going to be all about monsters and we're going to be playing with one of the new sets uh, that Tim Holtz released this holiday season called Monstrous. We're also going to be using some of the Halloween paper in his paper stack. Now before we get started, I have to confess, I love this stamp set. I think it's one of my favorite. There is so much detail in these stamps and the sentiments have that creepy, grungy look that I just love. Now in this series, I only have seven cards that I'm making, but I wanted to utilize as many of these images as possible on my card. So I just decided to create somewhat of a uh, window scene. So I found a rectangular die set that would hold the images and then I used that die cut to cut out three windows. And then I took that piece of paper and I traced it onto some white cardstock so that way I would know exactly where to stamp my images. Now this card is going to be a 5 by 7 card. So it's a little bit bigger than we've been working with. Um, but again, I wanted to be able to house all of my monsters. I'm using my Misty to stamp my monsters onto my white cardstock because I want to make sure I get nice crisp images. What's really great about the Misty is I can line up all three of the images and stamp them all at the same time. The ink that I'm working with today is our archi archival ink and it's the jet black ink. This is probably one of my favorite inks to use um, because a couple of reasons. Number one, I think it gives me really crisp images. And secondly, um, you may not always know where you're gonna go with your design. And if you do decide to do any water coloring or any Copic coloring that has the alcohol base, you know that you'll be safe with this ink. Now I decided to add some clear embossing powder to my images. The embossing powder will make the images uh, shine just a bit and help them pop outside of their windows. Uh, this is a personal preference, it's not necessary, but I find sometimes when I'm doing my Copic colorings, it does help me to stay within the lines. I don't have a lot of embossing colors. Typically what I will do is I will just get a colored ink pad and then if I want to emboss it, I'll use clear embossing powder. I know that there are a lot of crafters out there that have multiple colors in their embossing powders, but I tend to just go with the clear. I already have several colors of ink in my stash, so it just made more sense for me to stock up on the clear embossing powder versus buying the colored embossing powder. So once I thoroughly covered my images, I did take my heating tool to uh, heat emboss my images. Now, if you've never worked with embossing powder before, it is plastic, so as it dries, it will start to shine, and that way you'll know when it's completely dry. So after I heat embossed my images, I did take my eraser to erase some of those lines that I had drawn on my white cardstock. They may not have shown through once I had put my designer paper, but I didn't want to take any chances. So once I had erased all of the pencil marks, I did take my um, adhesive and adhere my designer cardstock to my white cardstock. Now there's a couple of ways that you could have gone with this. Um, you could have easily colored the images before adding your uh, designer cardstock, but I didn't want to necessarily have to color areas that weren't going to show through. So I went ahead and added my designer cardstock before I started coloring my images. Okay, so at this point we're ready to color our images. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video while I finish coloring these monsters and then I'll be back at the end uh, to put together the card.
Okay, so once the images were completely colored, I did want to add a little bit more uh, decoration to my um, cardstock. So I'm taking my striped stencil along with some fired brick distress paint to just add some drips of blood. Now if you wanted some of your blood to be dripping onto the uh, images or into the actual panel, you didn't necessarily have to cover them like I did. But I didn't want to take the chance of ruining my images, um, so I went ahead and covered them up with the uh, die piece that um, was the insert when I cut my designer paper, um, which created a perfect fit for the cover. And then I could easily add my red distress paint without, without having to worry uh, that it would mess up my image. So once my distress paint was completely dry, I decided to add a few more embellishments using my uh, rub-ons from Tim Holtz. I also pulled out a few other stamp sets so I could add some spider webs as well as some spiders um, on the outside panel. Now, if you've never used the Remnant rub-ons before, there's a couple of ways that you could actually uh, adhere these. The first way is exactly what I'm doing now, where you just pull out your um, images and you can get some sort of a rubbing tool to add them. But you want to be careful if you do it this way because these little uh, Remnant rubs are sticky. And if you um, place it over your card, you may end up with more images than you want. Another way that you can actually get them adhered is to cut out the individual images that you want to work with and then that way you can ensure that they don't stick to your cardstock. So once I finished adding my extra embellishments, I did take my distressing tool and fray up the edges and then I added my cardstock to my white card panel. And at that point my card was complete. So I hope that you've enjoyed day four of my seven days of Halloween, and I've given you some tips and tricks along the way. As always, I will leave a list of all the products that I've used to create this card, along with the links to the stores. If you've enjoyed the video, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you want to be entered into the drawing at the end of the series, you need to be a subscriber to my channel and also leave a comment on every single video. Alright everyone, thanks so much for stopping by today and we'll see you again tomorrow.